हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ बीम्स एंड फ्लेम्स अब व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय स्टेबिलिटी इफ अ स्ट्रक्चर फॉलोस बेसिक थ्री कंडीशंस ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम दैट इज नेट वर्टिकल फोर्सेस विल बी इक्वल्स टू जीरो नेट हॉरिजॉन्टल फोर्सेस विल बी इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड नेट मोमेंट एक्टिंग ऑन द बॉडी विल बी इक्वल्स टू जीरो then the structure is said to be a stable structure and if any of the equilibrium condition is not followed and the structure shows the movement then it is known as unstable structure it means that if the structure will not follow any of the equilibrium condition and shows any type of movement then it is known as unstable structure now we had bifurcated the unstability into two parts that is the internal unstability and the external unstability now what do you mean by internal unstability if mechanism is formed without loading then the structure is said to be internally unstable now how mechanism is formed if three consecutive hinges will be there in a structure and if there will not be any fixed support in that structure then that structure will undergo in the formation of mechanism and that structure will be known as internally unstable structure now in the first case due to this fixed support the structure will not undergo any type of mechanism formation that's why it is a internal stable structure okay now in the second diagram due to three consecutive hinges the structure will form a mechanism like this and this is known as internally unstable structure we just say that this is a case of internal unstability okay now in the third diagram that is in this case due to this fixed support the structure will not undergo any type of mechanism formation that's why it is also known as internally stable structure now when the hinge support is present here and due to this three consecutive hinges what will happen mechanism formation will be there and due to this mechanism formation the structure will be internally unstable that is all about the internal unstability okay now we will see the external unstability now if any structure shows the movement under loading then it is known as internally or we just say that structure is externally unstable okay if mechanism is formed then the structure is internally unstable and if structure shows the movement under loading that's why we just say that structure as externally unstable structure now the external unstability is of two types first one is the geometric unstability when reaction is greater than equals to 3 now when reaction is greater than equals to 3 we need to check the two conditions when all the three or more reactions are parallel then we say that the structure is geometrically unstable or when all the three or more reaction meets at a single point we say that the structure is geometrically unstable and when the reaction is less than 3 then we don't need to check any condition we just say that the structure is statically unstable okay now in the first diagram due to three simple support present in the structure here the reaction will be equals to 3 and all the reactions are parallel that's why it is a case of geometric unstability okay that's why it is a case of geometric unstability okay now in the second diagram the structure is subjected to three simple supports like this now here the reaction will be equals to 3 now we need to check one by one each and every condition first condition is that whether all the three or more reactions are parallel no all the three reactions are not parallel here now we need to check the second condition that all three or more reaction meet at a single point definitely all the three reactions are meeting at a single point that's why it is a case of geometric unstability okay now second is the static unstability now a beam is shown here and this beam is subjected to vertical loading only now due to vertical loading only vertical reaction will be developed now in this case only vertical reaction will be developed now due to this vertical reaction what will happen reaction will be less than 3 that is reaction is equals to 2 which is less than 3 that's why it is a case of static unstability okay now we had discussed the unstability of beams and frames thank you very much students